This phone was released almost a year ago, and still it stacks up well against the competition, cause Sony has revived it, Xperia Z 4.3. <laughs> Sony has really worked hard on this app drawer. It looks much better than the one on 4.2.2. It's more sleek and it has a better design. And it also allows you uh, to change uh, the order of the apps. Uh, that was also present in 4.2.2 but now it is accessed uh, by swiping all the way to the left. The settings panel now has a white theme compared to the one on 4.2.2 where it was black. Here you can see the Android version, it's 4.3. The Android 4.4 KitKat is expected to arrive in uh, February. There have also been slight alterations to the Sony keyboard. As you can see it's uh, slightly different than the one in the previous Jelly Bean versions. Of course Sony has made the most changes to their camera app and now they have included their social camera app which is uh, basically the camera from Z1 and Z Ultra. It includes a bunch of different uh, shooting modes ranging from motion shots to AR effects and sweep panoramas which I will demonstrate in this video. This is me taking a picture in superior auto mode. Uh, it doesn't offer many settings for you to change and uh, it's just a basic point and shoot uh, option. Also there is a manual option for more experienced uh, uh, shooters. Uh, you can change the resolution and also if you choose the highest resolution it has to be in 4.3 aspect ratio which is really bad. HDR can also be turned on and off. Time shift burst is also worth uh, mentioning uh, and it takes 30 pictures just before and after you press the uh, shoot key and you can choose amongst them the best one. That's basically how the new hopping into camera from lock screen looks like, and sounds like, to be precise. And there you have it. Sony has worked hard to make this update as good as possible for users, and they managed to get it done pretty well actually. I haven't encountered any bugs or slowdowns whatsoever since I installed it. I highly recommend you to update your device if you haven't done so already, and in case you still haven't received an OTA, I'll leave links for flashing it below. KitKat update should be just around the corner and this is something to have fun with while we wait. This was Xperia Z 4.3 official review and please leave a like and subscribe for more awesome videos.